You're listening to 834's award-winning podcast, The Happy Hour Hustle. We offer listeners the chance to experience the musings, or ramblings, depending on how many glasses of wine she's had, of the one and only Kimberly J. Bodie as she interviews notable clients, upstanding community members, and random passerby. Nominations and awards pending. Welcome, everyone, to another edition of the Happy Hour Hustle. Um, We are here talking about one of my favorite subjects ever um, with Megan of the Humane Society of West Michigan. Megan, what's your position again? You're the the events coordinator. The events coordinator. So she plans all the really cool stuff that you get to go to um, that benefits all of the animals. Um, So we're talking about their upcoming event, Paws, Claws, and Corks, which is taking place on March 18th. Um, and it's, uh, I've gone to it for years. I mean, one year I even won a bike in a si- in the silent auction. Nice. So that was pretty exciting for me. Um, but, uh, let's talk a little bit about the event, maybe just give like an overview. Um, and also I should point out that while we're having this conversation, there is a dog sitting on Megan's lap <laughs> and it is one of my six. I can't mm-hmm. escape them anywhere I yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> no, you can't. You really can't. Um, so I mean, it's really fitting that we're having this conversation with two of them just watching us right now. So two of the, two of the six, the other ones are at home. Um, so anyway, okay. So talk to me a little bit about Paws, Claws and Corks, which has been going on for, I mean, several years. Yeah. This is our seventh annual. that's crazy. Um, Really exciting. Uh, like you said, it is Monday, March 18th Mm -hmm. at DeVos Place. Um, we're expecting around 800 guests all coming out to help animals in need. Um, one of the really cool things is Humane Society of West Michigan is 100% donor funded. So all of the proceeds from the event go directly back to helping our animals in need and um, and getting them homes, like yeah. maybe adding a seventh right. to your right. family. Who knows? Right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about that last night. I think my husband might leave me if that happens. So. <laughs> all right. Well, we Not that that, that will happen. deter me, but, you know, who is to say? Okay, so this event's really kind of fun because you guys have, it's a strolling strolling dinner, and yes. you have some amazing restaurants that are going to be there. So mm-hmm. who are some of the, the ones that we can, we're able to sample all their food? Um, we have 13 different restaurants coming. Oh, I don't know if I can list them all off of memory. No, it's okay. But, well, uh, this isn't a test. We'll just, just name a few. Yeah, we've got um, some, uh, which is kind of cool, we've got some restaurants and also some catering companies. So um, some of the restaurants uh, include Leo's, Reserve, um, uh, West Side Social, um, Social Kitchen. Um, we also have the catering company coming. Um, one really cool, uh, we have a restaurant calling sh- called Shaker and Swine that's coming, uh-huh. and they actually haven't even opened in Grand Rapids Really? Yet. So they're using this a little bit as like a launch into yeah. um, their opening um, in 2019. And so this is kind of their oh, debut awesome. a little bit, which oh, that's is very really cool. cool. Should be a lot of fun. And there's obviously a bar so people yes, can get drinks a and bar. such. And then we also have um, 11 different um, beverage companies coming. Oh, very so, cool. Is that kind of um, new? Is that new or no? Um, we're continuing to grow. Okay. So every year we have more and more coming. Okay. Um, we've got some ciders that'll be there. Some, a lot of wineries because corks, you know, Paul's calls and corks. Right, so lots exactly. of wine. Um, some uh, brewery as well. Um, this year we're actually also adding a meadery, which is kind of a, a cool meadery. little addition. Yeah, so... Meadery? Um, what? Okay, what is that? I'm thinking meat. It's yes, not, it's it meat. It is meat. Yes, okay, yes. all right, so just checking. So a, a honeyed wine, um, but it's a, a company that exclusively creates w- mead. And, um, mead. Coming, I yep. kept saying meat. M-E-A-T. Yeah, now no, we're on the same D. page. <laughs> I was like, that's kind of weird. Just a meat <laughs> shop, but I mean, whatever. No, no, no. A meadery. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm with you, Megan. It's yes. fine. Um, okay, so talk a little bit about... Um, um, people can still register. Yes. Uh, the tickets are $100. And again, that's mm-hmm. tax... 50% of it is tax deductible. Perfect. Awesome. Um, and uh, we also have corporate tables available. Okay. So if businesses are looking, they want to be able to bring, you know, a few of their employees. We've got corporate tables for 10 people. Split or it with your friends. I've done that before. Yeah, so a lot I think of I did that a couple years ago. Individuals yeah. will do it and then kind of just like mm-hmm. all share it with their friends, things like that, definitely. So people come, they have the strolling dinner, mm-hmm. they hang out, drink lots of de- delicious mead and wine and beer. Mead. <laughs> <Duh. laughs> um, and eat food. And um, and then during that time, we also have a silent auction. Oh, that's right. Your so, silent auction is amazing. Yes. Every we, year, it just blows me away. Currently, we are at about 150 packages. Holy so um, a lot of different things. Um, all of our packages are at least $75 value or more. Oh, Some awesome. are significantly more. Um, but just a really good wide range of um, things for your animals, things for yourself, um, things for your home even. A lot of good options. And then you available. have a live auction too. Yeah. Which is it, how many? That's like what five packages or so? Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Oh my! Yep. That was way off. <laughs> Technically eleven, I guess. 
but our 12th one, um, we feature, our, our live auction is a little bit larger packages, okay. um, more elite kind of items um, that are, are um, pretty incredible and, and a, a lot of fun as well. Um, but then um, our final package of our live auction is actually a bidding opportunity um, to support what we call our Fund the Mission. Oh, I love that. That's my favorite part. That's when, yeah. <laughs> um, and you guys make it so easy too. I should, we should mention this because um, one of the things I really appreciate about the event is they have like, I don't know if you call it the fast checkout or whatever, mm-hmm. but you can come in, you fill out the paperwork, you give, um, write down your credit card information, give that to um, the staff, and then you you go through and you can just write down your number, whether it's silent auction, whether it's live auction, and then at the end of the night, you're just like, great, take your stuff, and you don't have to worry about checking out or standing in line, and yep. I love that because I tend to have a little too much wine and then just want to <laughs> leave, so it's really nice if you're able to, you know, still be able to go around and bid, but you don't have to worry about checking out at the end of the evening. Yes. Um, and actually this year it's going to be even faster because we're adding an online um, <gasps> registration system. Oh, that's amazing. And so um, the express checkout we're still going to have, but um, you don't have to worry about like writing your credit card number oh, on a piece of paper so it's or even anything. more secure. It's going to be very secure and very easy, and you actually can even bid from your phone. <gasps> so On the silent auction stuff too? On the silent oh, auction stuff. It's so on. it's going to be a little yeah. dangerous maybe yeah, if you yeah. have too much wine. I'm very but... competitive. So just wait. I'm going to end up buying like (laughs) 10 of the packages. It's fine. So, okay. So one of the things I want to talk about too is, you know, I think when everybody thinks humane society, they think cats or dogs, Mm -hmm. but you guys have much more than just obviously, you know, the cats and dogs. What are the other animals that you, you, you guys take in? Um, so any animal that can be a pet. So Mm -hmm. we have ferrets and guinea pigs and rats and mice and hamsters and we even had a pot belly pig a few months really? ago really yeah um piggy smalls was his name oh well, of it was course adorable it was. yeah of course it was. <laughs> um so dogs and cats definitely are kind of our bread and butter that's where uh, a lot of our mm-hmm. adoptions come from but those small animals are, are a big part of our services as well and now how are you guys right now in terms of like a capacity are you pretty full um we try to stay as full okay. as possible because um we never euthanize for time or space we want to give animals who are in a little bit more of a high kill shelter an opportunity to come to us to get away um, and get a second chance and so um, we try to stay as full as possible pretty much at any given time we have about 200 animals in our care well, and I think it's important to note too, like when you go in and you're, you know, you're looking to add a pet to the family that there is a lot of stress that those animals are under mm-hmm. because they're in, you know, they're in a shelter. They're not, yeah, you know, it's, so it's not a home environment. No. So, you know, whenever you go in just a little grace for these animals, yes. I would encourage, um, Definitely. you know, I, they are, I mean, they're so much different once you get them at home and mm-hmm. they have a chance to settle they in. They relax and then, a little bit. Right. And then yeah. their personalities will come out, um, yeah. you know, much later on when they begin to trust you. So, um, so now you, people can come in and obviously adapt. What are your hours for that? Um, so it depends on the day of the week. Um, Mondays we are close to the public. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think, I'm going to test me now. I think it's Tuesdays okay. through uh, Friday, we are open from noon until seven. And then on the weekends, we open at 11. Okay. And then, um, you do have volunteer opportunities as well outside of, you know, obviously. Yes. So how can people get involved in that way? Um, the easiest way to find out any information is on our website, hswestmi.org. Okay. Um, but we have volunteers who help with adoption counseling. We have volunteers who help with, um, walking dogs, socializing cats, kind of, um, like you were saying, it, yeah. it's a stressful environment. So mm-hmm. we try to bring in as many people as possible to make it, uh, more home-like for them. So taking them on walks, spending time sitting, letting them crawl in their lap, doing things like that. So we're looking, we're always looking for volunteers for those. We do only do uh, volunteer trainings a couple of times of a year, okay. be- just because it's such a high demand. We try to kind of condense it all together. Um, but there are definitely ways you can sign up. And also fostering. If maybe your home is oh, not a available idea. for mm-hmm. um, a pet long-term, you could consider fostering as well. Um, dogs, we're always looking for fosters and cats, especially in in the spring and summer, it's kitten season. Oh, yeah. Um, and so w- when those kittens are really small and not quite old enough to be adopted, we need homes to keep them in. So. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah I could never. I, I'm like a foster fail like three times <laughs> over. So, um, And that does happen, but, uh, you know, it's also – we encourage fosters because it's a good home environment for the animal before they get to go to a forever home. Well, exactly. So it's hard to let them go, but also it, it, now, you know they're going to a good place. Um, 
here's the question of the hour. Now, do you have pets yourself? Oh, of course. Yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah. tell us about them. Well, I just have one dog. His name is Chester. He is a Great Dane and Hound mix. Oh, my goodness. And he's a big guy and, and enough dog for my house. Yeah. Um, but I do have fosters pretty regularly. So um, pretty much at any time, I've got at least a few kittens. Or um, I had a couple, of, uh, two puppies, two sisters for a while. Oh, gosh. Um, and, and I had to take a little dog break after having two, two That's little why I always crazy like, puppies. Everyone's like, ooh, puppies. And I'm like, I'm going to adopt the senior because yep. <laughs> they're so much easier. And yeah. they're already house broke. And also, they're just, yeah, Um but then, you know, I have every kind of dog that you can possibly have. So, okay, so Paws, Claws, and Corks, March 18th. Um, I just, you know, this is a really great opportunity to get out, have a, a great, you know, a fun evening, you know, bid on some stuff that you'd like, um, support, obviously, all the animals. And, you know, if you can't have a pet or you can't adopt or anything like this, this is a great, this is just a really good opportunity. Um, or And it gives you the ability to support the organization mm-hmm. without, you know, necessarily having to volunteer or, you know, so. Yep. And, and, you, and you can also donate year-round, mm-hmm. and that's available on the website. Definitely, yep. Um, what... What's one thing you wish people understood about um, the Humane Society that maybe a lot of people don't know? Oh, one thing. Well, I mean, it could um, be yeah. several. <laughs> Go on. Um, I think the the biggest thing that I think a lot of people don't realize is we do adoptions, but we also offer a lot of other services as well. Oh, that's well. great. Yeah, talk about um, that. So we do have... Um, behavioral consult. So if you have, maybe you adopted an animal and are having a hard time getting them to adjust to your home, we have behaviorists on staff who will come out to your home and spend time working with you to help them get settled in. Um, We also do obedience and training classes. Um, And one thing I think that nobody ever knows about um, is that we do summer camps for kids. So we have um, different opportunities for kids of all ages to come and we have different focuses. So if they want to be a veterinarian, they can come and learn about veterinary services. If they love animals and want to learn about you know different animals around the world they can come and and do a camp around that so um, just a lot of really cool community-based opportunities that we have that I think a lot of people don't necessarily think about when they think humane society they think about adopting which is you know our our main priority but um, all right. So we should also mensor, mention the sponsors, which is mm-hmm. uh, Meyer and Pet Supplies Plus, which is awesome. Yes, they are um, leading sponsors. We do have a lot of other great corporations who are sponsoring the event as well, but um, we couldn't do it without Meyer and Pet Supplies Well, and Plus. people can go to pawsclawsandcorks.com, um, grab a ticket, uh, see who the other sponsors are, mm-hmm. make an online donation. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I really encourage you to come out. It's um, March 18th, 6 p.m., um, at the DeVos place, the Steelcase uh, Ballroom, and the dress is cocktail or business attire because people always wonder. Yep. Um, <laughs> and there are going to be pets, like dogs yes. to pet, correct? Yes, yeah, there will be. <laughs> that's what I get the most excited about. We so. encourage people not to bring their own pets. Yeah, don't Occasionally do that. people will show up with their own. Oh, we oh, for we can't sakes. have yeah. that, unfortunately, yeah. but there will be some yeah. animals there as well. Well, awesome. Well, thanks, Megan, for chatting about this. Yeah, and, thank you. you know, the Humane Society does some really amazing things in our community. Um, so I definitely encourage you to support them and come and hang out with uh, Team 834 at uh, Pause Claws and Quirks, which is March 18th. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.